Hi guys, I am Marky and welcome to my lecture series called Revit Hack. Well, I am a Revit enthusiast since 2008 and I've been sharing and training a lot about Revit to my colleagues and friends. That's why I created this channel to share and to train a lot more. This lecture series will discuss all about the essential skills that we need to, be to develop on your way to become a BIM modeler. So one thing we need to know about Revit is that Revit is not equal to BIM. BIM stands for Building Information Modeling and BIM means a process supported by various tools and technologies which is Revit is one of the authoring tools to create the model under BIM workflow that you can eventually use for BIM coordination, BIM visualizations, and other BIM workflows. So these are the some, some of the software that are used in a BIM workflow. And Revit is one of the authoring tools, as, as I've said earlier, that are used in a BIM workflow. Some other authoring tool are like Tecla and Archicad and there's some collaboration tools or analysis tools that are Navisworks, Solibri and BIM360. Now, how to start our journey on learning Revit? First, we need to understand Revit file extensions and we will make ourselves familiar with Revit user interface and setup. And of course, how to navigate inside Revit. Then, we will dive into our project setup. How to start a new project. So what are the Revit family extensions? We have .rvt for Revit project and .rfa for Revit family. And the two other extensions are for templates, which are that RTE for Revit project template and that RFT for Revit family template. That RTE is used to create the RVT file and that RFT is used to create the that RFA file. After learning those Revit file extensions, now we will dive into our Revit user interface. So for our user interface discussion, most of the tutorial I can see from uh, YouTube and Google, they go straight forward to those user interface inside the Revit when you are about to do the modeling and stuff. But a lot of people miss out this part here which is once you open your Revit you will see you will be uh, greeted by this screen which is called recent files so these recent files are the recent projects that you are open are up here and then the recent families that you opened uh, is down here and right about on this side on your right side uh, corner of your screen are the resources. I really suggest every version of Revit you always watch the what's new. What's new will will have a little or brief discussion on what's major things that uh, Autodesk have changed for every version and it's quite cool to watch and you you make yourself updated for for the latest up updates on the Revit versions. And also, if you are missing or you look so lost on the most of the essential skills, there's a lot of videos that Autodesk have embed embedded in every versions that they have. So you also see here the template that the default template that you you can use directly when you are doing the modeling. It's better to have a template when you are starting a project and you can also customize your own template. So we need to discuss before the actual user interface. You need we need to know what are 
under the applications menu because under the applications menu we can set up a lot from these options so this one is our we need to customize ourselves for every Revit uh, versions that we need to use so you need to set up every uh, part of these options so these are the most important one when you when you are about to use a Revit so in under general you c you will see the notifications tab here it's just a save reminder and synchronize with central reminder interval so Revit has no direct backups or autosave so it's just have this reminder for you to save or to synchronize with central but it doesn't have a direct um, auto save backup so when you don't when you do not save then uh, Revit will not create a backup for you so it must it, saving is very important and critical in this matter so username is for work sharing work sharing we will dis discuss it more in a work sets, uh, lecture so username you can just customize any username if you have an Autodesk account you can just log in your account and it will be your email address will be logged in here and then under user interface is all the customizations or configurations of all your ribbons so ribbons rather so under the ribbon tab here you can uncheck select and deselect uh, every ribbons that you are not using if you're using a small screen like laptops or uh, maybe a small monitor you can customize this one so it will be your screen will be maximized and then down here is the active team light and dark because mostly are come uh, most users of Revit are uh, previous AutoCAD users and they are not so used to using the light versions which is white and they want to transfer it into a dark color so it will resemble a bit in uh, like an AutoCAD interface but I really suggest to keep it on light version or uh, light team so at least you will feel the change from AutoCAD to Revit um, and a lot of saying that Revit has no keyboard shortcuts uh, it's not true you can customize everything uh, your shortcuts any command you can put some shortcuts for you um, if you love shortcuts then it's good to have this uh, information then this one this portion here is the double click options um, under double click options I really suggest that the family category you should make it uh, you should disable it because a lot of people that a lot of beginners in Revit is getting lost when they double click something like family and then the user interface change it to family editing user interface user interface so it's better to disable it for the, for the moment until you get the grasp of using Revit and you get used to editing the family so for now we just put this one as a disabled or do nothing okay then the rest will just keep it because those are the just the uh, um, editings editing interface under still under the project so the rest will just keep it so under the file locations we can see all the template setup we can add and delete uh, what templates that are we usually or we don't usually use and add in our company template or maybe your own template perhaps so so that it will be convenient for you to look up or to start up a project using a template is very uh, much helpful when you are you are doing a repeated project like for example if you're doing a, a series of templates I mean 
a series of families that are very constant in your company so creating creating a project template will really help you a lot and down here is our default path for user files whereas all your local files oh, or those local files that are real automatically created will be saved directly to documents which is very taxing for our system drive that's why it's better to customize this portion here that um, we need to to create another folder under our data file or data drive rather so that it will save a lot of space for our system drive so for our lecture series we need these three folders for the moment we need to have this Revit central folder and a Revit local folder and also a Revit 2017 families folder so as we go along in this lecture series we will use these three folders so if you are following me and you want to learn more about Revit of this lecture series so please create a Revit training folders and we will continue and develop our skills in Revit so as of now we just need to click the Revit local and click open so that every Revit local that we are using will be saved directly on this Revit local folder okay and that's it so we click OK so our user interface part 1 will be this and then please watch the part 2 for the actual user interface inside the Revit so if you like the content of our lecture series please click the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button to follow our lecture series talk to you soon